with Kim, who is the director of the ecological school, the um, yeah, how how they say it in English? They say it. <laughs> the organic, yeah, organic, yeah, or, uh, organic, organic school, yeah, the organic uh, school, or uh, agriculture organic school, actually. But it's a difficult word to spell. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So for the European and for the Danish Normal and we the German, yeah, uh, agriculture organic school uh, that. that we, we Uh, for the new farmers from the rest of Europe, we are only using the term organic farmer. Okay, so being at the organic farming school, um, uh, today's event is the first or second event? That it's the second event. We started last year and we needed to, to get it more promoted in, mo in, in most of Denmark. And then we fought a big festival to show all the goose, good products from, from the ecological uh, farmers in Denmark were a way to show our school in the same and our primary uh, thing to do here is here to educate new people to make good food absolutely and uh, since this is all over the world the same approach um, you just started or you will start this year 2013 in august with a new class on organic uh, plant and uh, farming yeah it's our plan to to make an uh, Uh, organic farmer for international students, typical uh, students from the whole of uh, Europe, and they have to get the same education because I think the education f as ecological farmer in Denmark is one of the best in the world. So we now make it for all the young people in Europe and the rest of the world to get the same education and All our uh, literary will be in English and all education in English. And then we'll bring them together with the Danish students also. So we together can fit some good experience with each other about how we could uh, get um, more focus on the good things about ecological. Um, Kim, can you just give me a short impression? How many students will come together from how many countries? Oh yeah, we will start a new, a new team at 5th of August and I think there will be students from Italy, Spain, Portugal, Ireland, Iceland, Sweden, Hungary, uh, Poland, India uh, and probably we'll get someone from Africa also, Cameroon and uh, people from Kenya. Oh, so then you almost cover all the world, uh, at least the big um Places are already here with you, and then if the word is spread, I guess over the time you will have many more coming from other directions of the world, and then maybe you have to split um, the year into different classes. And uh, so far now, these are almost 24 people. You said, yeah, 24 people from from, and then I also forgot one from China, and that's a huge. Uh, A possibility in China also so I also speak with some people from a Chinese uh, a school farmer school over there but but the, the main goal about this is first of all give a good education about our farming our organic farming and then afterwards help the countries to get a same education as we got so we will move the education to where the people belong or live and make the school out there. But first of all, bring them here, and afterwards we would like to go in in, uh, in speaks with other countries about making the school outside. So being uh, from Native Power and uh, introducing today the bio uh, generator, or as you say, yeah, bio... <laughs> yeah, well, we go, bio reactor in Danish. <laughs> uh, bio reactor, so in German it's bio yeah. and on the global basis it's maybe compost heating or compost heap to heat and get vertilization uh, makes me very proud to be in this environment so that we also uh, are part with our methodology for the future and as we spoke earlier today um, you will incorporate uh, part of the bioreactor into your um, uh, school uh, and yeah. into your teachings. Uh, there's two big issues about the bioreactor. Bio It is how can we get cheap heat for the, all the surroundings, all the buildings. We have a lot of square meters, 12,000 square meters here. And we have to heat them up. And in the Danish winter, we'll get on to, to minus 10 degrees. So we lose a lot of hot water. And, and I think, except as organic farmers, we have a, a, a responsibility to take, do something about the climate problems. So I'll bring that together, how to get the hot water cheap. And then I get a big, uh, the humus, the... Uh, 
the great construction of that uh, earth we bring out of the compost. It's so ex exciting and, and we have to bring that into the f uh, farming organization, into all agricultures in Denmark. So how can we do something for the earth? So it's great. Yeah, then we have a perfect fit. We have all the students from all over the world taking home the news of the compost, uh, taking home the low-cost uh, heating system and all the advantages of the rest of the organic uh, agriculture teached in Denmark. Bring it together. Right? Yeah. yeah, so uh, as we said also earlier, it's all about networking and if we ever will find together um, we are part of a huge uh, network and we will spread the world all over and uh, that is one of our main goals. Uh, teaching is one very substantial part of it but on the other hand make sure that everybody who is within the school or within our environment mm. understands the responsibility and the possibility and it's even uh, much better if we can show them low technology on mm. low cost with a big result yeah. and I think uh, that is one of our major goals and once uh, as I said earlier I'm pretty happy um, that this relationship uh, was built up due, Same for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, due to Martin who introduced um, uh, Native Power to, to your school um, and he was one of the participants of one of our yeah. workshops uh, last year 2012 in November and that already shows um, you put up a little seed and it will grow mm. and um, over the time I think we will see the results. Yeah, I, I, I think we'll get uh, big results and, and, and there's a lot of things, a lot of possibility we have to, to uh, go into and find out and, and about possibilities. It's, we, we use a lot of time to try something. Look what happens. Okay, what could we do? And that's a good way to educate people also. Go out, try it. Come back, tell us what happens. And, uh, and then uh, bring people together from all of Europe. So we we'll really look forward to, uh, to enjoying a, a partnership or a, a networking uh, with good people. Yeah, actually, Kim, I have really to say thank you that you bring up the point of try it. So don't worry, try it. Mm. And all the winners in the world have uh, experienced the roller coaster in their life and most of them have also gone through failures and to downsides. Uh, and only good experience uh, leveraged and good experience spread around are based on a lot of try and error. Yeah. And thanks God I have been through it and I can give you the best of all this knowledge <laughs> and uh, with this we also can spread this out uh, over and the be, world and be prepared we will get all the stuff you, you have <laughs> we are needed for it but <laughs> absolutely that's a, that's yeah, a, good, yeah. a good history a good possibility and I really look forward to it and I'll, I'll try to make it in big size why not try it in big size absolutely small Denmark sings big and guys be sure we will be back on this channel sooner or later and you will see the results which we achieved. Thank you, Kim. Same for me. I'm nice. It's very ha I'm happy to meet you and I'm happy to uh, look forward. I'm looking forward to the good experience in the future. Thank you so much.